A developer asking to add apartments to a popular North Austin shopping center has longtime tenants concerned. Today, KXN's Alyssa Gord paid a visit to the Great Hills Shopping Center near the Arboretum to find out what could happen next. People are clearly attached to the patio at Manuel's restaurant, which has been there since 1998. I mean, you can't believe how many people we're having to explain this to. It's unbelievable. Co-owner Greg Curry and his staff have been feeling concerned since word got out a developer is looking to rezone this property. Phase one would make changes to the area where Manuel's and the Arbor Cinema movie theater now sit. What we've been hearing from people is that they're concerned about the traffic, they're concerned about Manuel's and, and Arbor Cinema. The property is in City Council Member Alter's district. She says the people who own it already have the rights to build more commercial developments there. They'll be asking the City Council to build up to 500 apartment units. So I'm interested in learning what their concerns are and to also have an opportunity for them to learn about some of the nuances and the fact, for instance, that residential has less of an impact on traffic than commercial. And the council vote has been delayed so that Alter and the developer can host a meeting and hear from the community. You know, more people have moved into the area. How much more can be sustained with the current infrastructure? That's a good question for all of us to consider. Manuel's has been in touch with the developers, but the restaurant's lease at this spot is good for up to another decade. Our plan is to continue business as usual. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. The Drenner Group represents the company who owns that property, and they tell us no businesses will close right away. They will allow leases to expire, or maybe both parties can reach an agreement. Councilmember Alter is hosting a meeting for District 10 to talk about this development. That meeting will be on Wednesday at 7. The developer will be at the meeting as well to answer any questions. The City Council will then vote on the development on November 9th.